Hello gorgeous people, what is going on and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to dive into a channel that has recently taken the analog horror genre by storm, Dr. Nowhere. Dr. Nowhere's channel started uploading three months ago and each video shows us terrifying and disturbing creatures. Some breaking out of your screen to attack you and others hijacking television broadcasts and mentally torturing their victims. Today, we're going to dive into each video, seeing what they all mean, and trying to find out if they're all connected. As always, Dr. Nowhere's channel will be linked at the top of the description down below. Please be sure to go and support your analog horror content creators. Okay, it's time. Enough of me yapping. It's time to introduce you to Dr. Nowhere. Dr. Nowhere's Office of Wonders. We are certain that you will enjoy your stay. Video 1. TOE Starving Help. Okay, all right. So obviously this is a very short video just to start and this is called Starving Help. So I wanna believe that this creature here is starving and would like some help. And it seems like he's trapped behind a screen. It almost seems like he's like trapped behind my monitor here and he's trying to break out and he's, he's getting pretty successful. He keeps slamming this screen. There's something really, I don't know, like unsettling about this thing. I mean, obviously it's extremely creepy looking, but just the whole vibe of everything, the fact that it's behind the screen, that it just looks like this, the way it moans. I don't think it's saying anything specific. It sounds like it's just like, you know, like I don't think there's any words coming out and not much in the description, although it does say trapped. So it seems like this thing is trapped behind this screen here. This is a part of a set of videos called TOE, which is kind of funny because it's like toe, you know, like like a toe anyway no idea what toe stands for yet but maybe we'll find out eventually there are two more videos that are labeled with toe at the beginning i'm not sure if all the videos with toe are just connected or if all the videos on the channel are connected and the toe ones are just about this thing i'm not sure but we'll see let's go on to the next one video two has this ever happened to you all the lights Has this ever happened to you? It's getting dark outside. You're getting ready for bed. Grabbing a cold glass of water, and now you're turning off all the lights in the house. Okay. Do you feel that? Or maybe hear that? That sinking feeling that something is following you as soon as you turn off the light? Well, worry not. We have a brilliant solution. Nothing that follows there you is nothing after that you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. Another short and very simple one. This almost seems like a commercial. And they're basically saying, you ever get that feeling when you're getting ready for bed and something starts to follow you after you turn the lights off? And right before they dive a little deeper into it, this dude pops up on screen and basically says, nah, there is nothing following you when you turn the lights off. And then afterwards, the commercial's like, yeah, you know what, actually there is nothing. So I wanna say this is definitely the creature that's probably following you after you turn the lights off <laughs> and it's manipulating this commercial to make you think otherwise. Obviously, this creature looks different than the one in the last video. Like I said, we don't know if all these videos are connected yet or if they're separate incidents or what. It does look very different, though, from the other creature. So I'm almost wondering if Dr. Nowhere is kind of creating a universe here where there's like several different 
types of things going on. Although the last one was trapped behind a screen and this one seems to be kind of like manipulating and putting itself into a commercial. So maybe that is a tie together there. Other than that though, there's not much else to say. There is something in the description again though that says there is nothing. Also important to note, this was uploaded on Christmas of 2023. So if you were subscribed to Dr. Nowhere on Christmas of 2023, you had quite the Christmas gift and I'm a little bit jealous. But all right, on to the next one, which we're going back into the TOE videos. Video three, TOE Love Thumper. Hello? What do you want? What do you want? It's talking. Please go away. Please go away. Go! It's trying to break out. Its hands are like needles or something. You could stay right there. You don't have to come any closer. Please. The, the body appeared untouched. Okay, so that one was the longest so far and the weirdest for a few different reasons. So this video starts off with this guy talking to the thing in his TV, which again, we don't really know the name. This video is called love.thumper. Not sure what thumper would be. Could that be the name of this thing? But it seems like that this thing was trying to talk to him through this TV. So this guy picked up the camera to record this situation. He's kind of saying hello. And then this thing responds by repeating hello as well. When he asks, what do you want? he starts banging on the screen and ends up shattering the screen and breaking out and coming out of it then the next shot seems like maybe the person that was recording hiding in a closet we see that the volume is up and then he lowers it maybe as to try to hide from this thing it seems like it finds him anyway and it almost like teases him a little bit by peeking its head and kind of just looking in there and then eventually attacking him at the end or coming at him what's really weird to me is this last image where it's an image of what seems to be the TV, the glass is shattered here. Obviously the creature isn't there anymore. And it says the body appeared untouched. I'm guessing that's talking about the body of the person that was recording. They're saying the body. So I'm guessing that person is dead, but they appeared untouched which is interesting. Now, in the first video where we saw this thing, it was called starving.help and he was kind of banging on the screen. So I'm guessing this thing broke out of the screen because it was starving. I wanna assume that it was gonna eat the guy recording, but if it says the body appeared untouched, it's a bit confusing. I'm jumping to a lot of conclusions here. Again, we haven't had that much to look at so far, but maybe it doesn't necessarily eat you like it eats your body, but maybe it eats, I don't know, your soul or something. I'm just kind of trying to theorize here the best I can. But a really important detail is we have a date in the description, March 13th, 2005. So we're immediately getting some more lore because we got a date. We're getting to see, I guess, what happens when this thing breaks out of the screen. Should we call this thing Thumper? I kind of just want to call it Thumper since this video is called Love Thumper and I don't really know what else Thumper would be referring to. So I guess for now, we'll call this creature Thumper. All right, let's jump into the next one. Video four, TOE making friends. Time to rise and shine.
good children are up bright and early. Good children play pretend. What the hell kind of drawing is that? That kid gotta get some better art skills or something. I can't even tell what's happening. Good children do not play with their food until it is all gone. Good children make friends. Okay, hold up. Whoa, pause it, pause it, pause it. We will go back and look at those like little single frames there that we kept seeing. I just want to read what's on screen right now. Pen Palace, connect in seconds, pals for life. Dominic 999, Ellie Wings, Bowers Carter 4 for governmental personnel viewing only. Okay, so that's interesting. Does that mean that we're watching this and this is like a government owned tape now and they're censoring this on purpose? Carter and Dominic are online. Miss their faces? Use our new vid chat feature. So this seems like some kind of like online chatting site that I guess you could use for video chatting and text chatting. The old original, the young you, smilehood. Weird that they would censor out something like this because this looks like it almost has nothing to do with what we're looking at right now i thought it'd be like someone's face or something so you know they're censoring it out for privacy reasons or something hold on wait did it flash to something different there no i do think that ad changed to something else and then they did completely censor that out okay good to know all right message from dominic hello oh uh date march 13th oh so this is the same date as the last video okay Yo, man, what's up? It's been like forever. Okay. Seriously, thought you were dead or something. Look, we've been online friends for a while now. Yes. Best friends. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately. You been going through something? If so, I'm here and you could talk to me, man. Okay. Like I said, it's none of my beeswax and you don't have to say nothing, but do you need something? Face call, please. Video call? It's like almost 1 a.m. where I am, man. Whack time zones, remember? Please now. Seriously, are you good? Like I said, I'm here if you want to talk. I know you started that new school recently and it was whack. Okay, yes. Talk face. Hey, no, seriously, I can't. Really sorry, but tomorrow, okay? Please, let me friend. Seriously, are you alright, Dom? Please, 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 please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, okay. Please, 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 please. Not cool, man. What the heck? Please, just be as quiet as possible. Like, whisper. Yes. My mom's a light sleeper, remember? Starving.help. Please. Nah, though I swear if this is a weird heckin' prank hated those they were never fun incoming video chat request none of it makes any sense everything inside was gone Okay, I have a bunch of thoughts on that. Okay, so at the start, we get these different weird images talking about good children and what they have to do. And if you notice, the background of these images is actually the same as when we see the thumper creature. Like this wallpaper pattern, you could see the same pattern here. And it does say good children make friends, and it does seem like this is what's supposed to be a child speaking to someone through a screen, which is we know how thumper kind of communicates here. Based on this whole chat session, it seems like this guy Dominic was taken or eaten whatever you want to say thumper did to him thumper has got him and has taken over his chat message board here and is basically asking this other kid like hey get on face call with me 
pleas begging him, begging him. And it, you notice it speaks in like best dot friends. It always puts like a period or a point in its messages, similar to how these videos are titled, which I guess is a way to know like this is Thumper talking. And it even says starving dot help, which is a reference to the first video. So I want to assume that the actual order of these videos that we're watching is this one making dot friends, then starving dot help, and then love dot thumper. So this guy communicates on the messaging board. A video calls him, which is when we see Thumper here. Then we see the video of Thumper tapping on the screen. And then there's the video of Thumper actually breaking through the screen and attacking the person on the other side of it. So it seems that this is how this creature works, is that it goes from person to person, from screen to screen, kind of eating them, I guess, whatever that means, because it's starving. So it's gotta be like eating them somehow, right? In some way. And then after it eats the person, it does the same thing tries to make friends again through the screen jumps to the next one another interesting thing is that it says none of it makes any sense everything inside was gone when it says that i want to think it's referring to the body because this is like the same text that we saw in the last video where it said the body appeared untouched it doesn't make sense everything inside was gone and now we see a heart here so did thumper take like the inside organs of its victim and then bring it back into like its digital world here or its world world on the other side of the screen because that that makes sense to me the body appeared untouched but everything inside was gone it this person's heart was gone and now we see it in where thumper usually is it's also interesting that the heart is beating i didn't realize this so we see thumper here appearing to look into a screen so maybe this is like thumper's pov when he's looking at us but then it shows good children make friends so is thumper kind of looked at as a child then because this screen almost looks like a exactly like this one as far as like positioning and everything oh okay never mind the description just confirmed it for me the description literally says it's a kid in there so maybe in a way thumper is kind of like a child that's just trying to eat and it may not know any better like maybe it thinks it's making friends by eating these people or like taking their hearts but obviously it is wrong now this next one doesn't have the label toe at the beginning and it's called the boiled phenomenon and it's 10 minutes long which is way longer than any of the videos that we watched so far and this one has blown up in the last few days i actually was going to wait to cover this series until a few more entries came out but because this 10 minute video came out i was like all right we gotta we gotta dive deep into this one and it's been blowing up and you guys have been blowing up my comment section about it saying how crazy this one is so here we go let's jump right in video five the boiled one phenomenon a lot of stuff just flashed on the screen way too quickly so I want to apologize already if there's a lot of pausing in this. I want to make sure I read these things before we move on to the next area. Okay, so we have whatever this is here, and it's kind of moving a little bit. Then this distorted screen. Then all following media has been curated with permission from personnel at Ephrata228. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Great care has been taken to keep the identities of persons involved anonymous as they requested. So immediately this seems like some kind of like private secret organization type thing going on. It's honestly giving me like SCP vibes a little bit. Makes you wonder if this tape was also created by the person that's been creating the TOE tapes because they also censored what seemed to be a face there maybe at some point in the last video we watched. Warning, this video contains elements which are known to cause mild to severe cognitohazardous conditions, including properties that may mentally and physically affect the viewer. Please refer to the following procedures in order to guarantee your safest possible viewing experience. Okay, so a cognito hazard is a term that refers to creatures, items, and objects whose anomalous effects trigger when perceived by the five senses. And that's immediately on the SCP database. So it looks like I might have been kind of on par with my thought on this. So I guess an example of this could be like that cowbell in the recent SCP video I did. When the guy rung the bell and heard the bell, it triggered that SCP to activate and to start haunting him and kind of torturing him a little bit. Make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Earplugs, a pencil, a sheet of paper, a standard Christian Bible open to Psalms 9110. Psalms 9110 is no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues tangible to the naked ears, insert your earplugs and turn to your pencil and paper. Write the following on the page. Ooh, flash of text there. 
I can see this paper, I can see my hand, I can't hear the screaming of thousands, I can't hear the feast, I am a moving, breathing human being on planet earth. So it's almost like you're writing this to kind of keep your own sanity. But you can see that there is a red text here. I can't see this paper, I have no hand, I can hear the laughter of thousands, I can hear the feast, I cannot move, nor do I want to. After these words are written, recite Psalms 91.10 aloud. If memories and imagery of something unholy persist in your mind, pray. It's all you can do. No evil shall befall you, and no plague shall come near your dwelling. Okay, so very similar to what I said earlier, although not exactly the same. And there's an upside down cross in the brain. Okay. All right. In the event you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You will be administered amnesthetics. Many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. Many appear, but not all appear. Damn, so even viewing this tape can destroy your life, it seems. The Boiled One Phenomenon. August 13th, 2003, Tree of Heaven. In the late 1990s, a now classified documentary based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland plants and animals and was primarily The program revolved around woodland plants and animals and was primarily directed towards children. The star of the show and narrator would talk about the wonders of nature, the dangers of it, how to appreciate it, and most importantly, how to protect yourself from it. Unfortunately, in early 2001, the program would be taken off the air due to the host passing away. Then something odd happened. On August 13, 2003, the 13th episode of the series began a rerun seemingly out of nowhere. The following audio recording depicts the beginning segments of the episode. Good morning, bushwhackers. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest to find a plant that's as beautiful as it is deceptive. Poison oak. We all know about it, and here in Pennsylvania it's not as common but still something to look out for. And here on we aim to uncover all the wonderful secrets that nature has to offer, no matter how minuscule or gigantic. So let's get going, shall we? Found primarily in deep North American woodlands, poison oak has many different names and places of origin, also referred to as the tree of heaven. Imagine that. In China and Taiwan, one of these invasive species made its way to America in the 1700s and took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. During one of the interlude segments, an anomalous broadcast would hijack the program. This broadcast depicted videos of a red, melted face that spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply concerning voice. Disconcerting? Yeah, disconcerting. This face and its properties will be hereby referred to as Fen228. As Fen228 spoke, clips of footage and even live camera feed monitoring hospitals and bedrooms would be occasionally overlaid on the screen, obscuring Fen228's face. Though most remember Fen228 speaking English, multiple non-English speaking viewers remembered understanding every word that was spoken. So this thing spoke in what seemed to be everyone's language to their perception. So if you primarily spoke Spanish, I guess you would hear it in Spanish. Same thing with every other language. The following clip is restored recording of the anomalous broadcast. The duration of the clip has been shortened and the audio has been muffled, reversed, and dampened. These alterations are absolutely necessary to suppress its hazardous attributes as effectively as possible. For maximum safety, watch with blue light glasses and insert your earplugs. What an insane precaution to throw onto this. We reversed it, muffled it, and dampened it. But also, make sure you have earplugs on and a certain type of glasses on, just in case. Like, at this point, don't even watch it. Like, just make this video forbidden. Also, what, what happens to you when you watch it?
This broadcast will be hereby referred to as Broadcast 813. Now, maybe it's just me, but I am curious what this thing actually said, so I am going to put that entire thing in reverse to you, and just take a listen. Cause the manifestation of my being in the future. You will be asleep in bed. I will be there and watch over you. When you wake, Broadcast 813 was viewed by roughly 530 residents throughout the southern Pennsylvania area and upon viewing left many severely distraught. Aside from the discomfort and paranoia of N228's television presence had brought to the viewers, there were other side effects that these viewers experienced that were highly unnatural. Many viewers reported not being able to keep the image of N228's face out of their minds. Some even continued to hear its voice days after viewing. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Another described trumpets playing in their ears before they fell asleep. None of these people knew that this was only the beginning. The beginning of a whole new species of suffering that would never be fully understood. August 14th, 2003. The Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. After the anomalous frequency was detected by television station troubleshooters, the NERC was ordered by the Afrata branch to have all power grids local to the state of Pennsylvania disabled by 4 p.m. to prevent further escalation of the anomaly and the public knowledge of Broadcast 813. The outage ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada as well, creating the Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. Almost 50 million people were without power, some not getting it back until days later. I want to apologize again just for constantly pausing. It's just like, if I don't pause, I can't read it out loud to you guys in time, so I just have to pause. I'm sorry. During the confusion caused by the outage, all traces of broadcast E13 were collected by the Ephrata branch and seemingly wiped from existence. Including news articles in the works from the morning after the broadcast, internet posts, recordings, and more. The cause of the blackout was promptly covered up and claimed to have been a combination of human error and the result of trees falling onto sagging power lines somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. But the damage had been done. Aftermath. 12 days after broadcast E13 was blocked from the air, a historically massive influx of pseudocoma occurred throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families in shock. Pseudocoma is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experiences a cerebromedullospinal disconnection, leaving them to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due to complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles in the body except for vertical eye movements and blinking. So basically you're conscious, but you're paralyzed. Which is interesting because remember they said one person said they felt like it was feeding on their spine? Maybe it was after all. Maybe the broadcast inserted it into their brain, almost like a virus, and over time it's kind of eating at their spine. So the broadcast was viewed by 530 residents, but 509 people were affected. So what happened to the other 21 people? This anomalous outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the US Department of Health and was put under governmental investigation immediately. One thing in common with all these cases is that the patients had been at home watching TV the night of the broadcast 813 was aired. Yeah, so it's obviously connected. run that back just to show you that appears there for a frame and only the tv is on screen for a frame and he definitely was peeking up out of the tv there though the victims of this outbreak were unable to speak they were able to communicate through morse code by blinking more than 60 victims were interviewed it's actually a really smart way to communicate with them 
teach them all Morse code and then have them try to communicate. Many of these interviews held unveiling results that often led to more questions and many others held results that required archival or termination. However, fairly late into the investigation, the Ephrata branch was notified of a particularly odd case revolving around one of Job Zamperini, an elderly victim of the anomalous pseudocoma outbreak. Job Zamberini specifically requested his alias to be used in future records instead of his real name, which will remain classified. Zamberini was a war vet and fluent in Morse code, putting him on the mark as a potential interviewee as soon as the outbreak was put under investigation. Yeah, it's got to be true. I was thinking that like, even though they're teaching them Morse code, it still must be hard to like be confident that they're understanding how to properly communicate in Morse code. But if you have someone that's definitely understanding of it, like 100% fluent in it, it's much easier to communicate with them and take their interview as being more valid than the rest. After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. This led them to contact a local priest in hopes his house would be blessed. The following photo depicts Fen228 standing next to the small playhouse in Zamperini's backyard. The photo itself has proved to be non-hazardous and was safe to view, though still anomalous in nature. For most comfortable viewing experience, wear blue light glasses or view from a distance of 3 feet or more. Now I'm locked in, we like a foot away, here we go. He is huge. Zabrady claims something horrible and unholy was with him and would hurt him and possibly others if he described it and what it was telling him. The following is a recovered, previously archived recording of which Officer T. Gomez of the Euphrata Branch interviews Job Zambrini. Hello, Mr. I'm Officer Gomez. I hope you're doing well today. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition and possibly um, unholiness within your home that your family... It's in the photo. This is, It's right here. It, th I refuse to believe that this is not Fen228 right here. It has those things that like stick out of its head and it's just peeking over enough. I had mentioned Translation sequence. Ask. Okay, first and uh, foremost, did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? Face, huh? There was a face. Hmm. When did you begin seeing this face? Interesting. After, after I saw it on the TV, it never left Any me. Any of the people who have seen the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? No, it is in the window. Face to me? Horribly burnt, not of Lord Christ. I, uh, I still don't see it. Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? I'm sorry to hear that. I can hear screaming of many voices. Are these screams constant? A night before sleep. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. A night before sleep, I hear trumpets too. Oh, oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. <sighs> I'm going to have to translate that Morse code, aren't I? So the translation for that red Morse code on the screen was nobody but me and you, but Lord Christ is with me. And then it also is important to note that this says I can see you now before it did not just clearly say that there. You shedding light on this is helping more than you know. So right after Gomez heads off screen for a single frame, we get this same kind of distorted image that we did at the beginning of the video. Wonderful day, the miracle of birth, a fetal fanfare. Listen closely. Do you hear it? You will hear the laughter of thousands as the sky opens up. You will hear the trumpets play their happy sound. 
the scourging blood of life will pour down onto us all. Together, we will be still. Together, a feast for purity. Together, melded by love and purest connection. Be still. Warning, if you could see this screen, it means it is not safe to continue viewing. The program will end shortly. Protocol Brevida 228. Perform the procedures given to you during the int introduction of this video immediately. No evil shall before you, no evil shall plague come near your dwelling. Wow. Wow. There is truly so much to unpack in that video and that definitely seems like its own isolated incident disconnected from the other videos that we've watched so far so let's run back through this real quick the best way that i can to simplify this because obviously that was a ton of information dropped on us there on this one incident that happened so they start off by telling us that in the late 1990s there was this documentary television program about like plants and animals and stuff and the star of the show would talk about the wonders of nature and the dangers of it and how to appreciate it most importantly how to protect yourself from it the show was taken off the air because the host died at some point in early 2001 but randomly on august 13th the 13th episode of the series began a rerun randomly during the rerun it gets hijacked by this red melted face which is referred to as fen 228 this guy right here he says some things and he basically says that when he manifests when you wake up you're not going to be able to move and you're going to be the only person that can see me and i will see you and as we now know later on this is exactly what happened to the people that saw the broadcast but 530 people saw that they experienced anxiety paranoia and they weren't able to keep the image of it out of their head and they could even hear its voice they could even hear trumpets before they went to bed one person even said that it was living in his brain and feeding on his spine now as a result of this your father branch wanted all of this like locked up they did not want this getting out that this happened they did not want more people seeing it so they literally shut down the power grid of 50 million people in the surrounding area just to make sure it was completely wiped out they tried to get rid of any articles any broadcasts talking about it any recordings anything about the situation and it was covered up by saying that there were power lines sagging in ohio you know it was just they co covered it up with some random incident what they didn't know was that 12 days after 509 people would be affected by pseudocoma now pseudocoma is a condition that leaves you conscious but you're unable to move or communicate verbally the only thing you can do is move your eyes vertically and blink i think this is important because one of the people that viewed this tape said that they felt like it was feeding on their spine so if eventually that feeding over time causes this disconnection and causes you to go into this state it just makes sense to me like these people watch this broadcast it got implanted into their head and was just feeding on them until eventually they just couldn't move anymore so they try to communicate through them with morse code they find this guy zamperini who they could confidently communicate with because he is fluent in morse code and in their discussions he basically tells them what they kind of already knew that they had been seeing this thing since he saw the broadcast after he saw it on tv and never left him he hears the screaming of many voices but he still feels like God is with him. Then after that, we hear Wonderful Day, The Miracle of Birth, A Fetal Fanfare. Okay, there is some text here at the bottom and I tried to translate it using Google Translate. I know Google Translate is like very 50-50 because it's not the best, but something about it saying fear the one and only Watanabe bird just feels very incorrect. According to Wikipedia, it's someone that was a war criminal in World War II and that just definitely doesn't seem correct to me. But now we actually know what this is. This is the sky opening up as he describes it although it's just like duplicated side by side i have no idea what this actually means or what this actually could be implying and i don't even know how it connects directly to the phenomenon that's going on like he's warning about what seems to be the birth of something it looks like that this thing has something growing inside of it and eventually the sky is going to open everybody's going to be happy and feast you're going to hear the trumpets and the laughter and okay let's say i get all that why did it broadcast on tv and is it torturing hundreds of people the way it is what is the connection there maybe i'm just missing it somehow maybe i'm missing the connection okay so after thinking about it for a little bit i have no idea why it initially starts 
on a TV broadcast, but I believe it was using the broadcast to kind of attach to people to feed off of them so that it can manifest itself. And then once it manifested itself, it will continue to feed off of these people to eventually have the power to open up the sky, as it says, or give birth to whatever this thing that it keeps talking about is. It definitely looks kind of pregnant at one point in the video. So I do think it's going to give birth to something in some kind of way. This is my best explanation. I'm really trying here, guys. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts though in the comments. Okay, this goes way deeper than I thought. I just want to pull up a comment that somebody put under the video. So shout out to Not Jaden for this comment. They said something very similar to what I said as far as the translation goes. At 936, the Japanese text fear the one and only Watanabe bird, which is in reference to Mutoshiro Watanabe, who was a Japanese war criminal who tortured POWs. One of the POWs name was Luis Zamperini, which Zamperini was referenced in this video, although he was given the name Job Zamperini, I believe. Yes, which they said here, which is what the last name of the old man affected by the broadcast. My theory is that the boiled one could be Watanabe's spirit torturing Zamperini after his death. Watanabe's death was in 2003, which is the same year the broadcast aired. But I don't know, I could just be reaching hard, LMAO. Dr. Nowhere did like this comment, and he actually liked a few comments here. One being, I think the boiled one is to represent war itself, with 936 onwards being a representation of the death and destruction that ensues from it. 936 and onward was this wonderful day, the miracle of birth section. Don Busode commented, I didn't know that the inspirational movie Unbroken Path of Redemption could be turned into an analog horror. It's about Zamperini's life after captivity, and he continues to be plagued by visions with Watanabe interfering with his life. But at the end of the movie, he overcomes the soul poisoning memories by turning to Christ for help, which as we know, Zamperini in this video is very much believing in Christ. He references Christ a few times. This is another comment that Dr. Nowhere liked. And War Weasel also commented, the only thing is that Zamperini lived his whole life in California before and after the war, while this job is in the northeastern part of the US. That is unless the doctor just saw Born in Olin, New York on his wiki and copied that. To which Dr. Nowhere replied, I was originally planning on basing the whole story on Torrance, which was Lewis's childhood and post-war home, but the blackout never spread there and there are a few other mysterious reasons that this takes place in Pennsylvania. So it seems that this whole Boiled One story does have reference to Watanabe and Zamperini's story of the two of them, but it's not entirely mirrored exactly. Like the location may be different, but it is different for a reason. It also says in the description, media curated and brought to you by WebU Industries, courtesy of the Afrata branch, you deserve to know, you deserve better. And obviously, despite how insane of an incident this is, there is a group of people keeping this secret from the public. They don't want this to get out, which I guess is understandable because the panic that would come from this would probably be insane if people thought that at any point watching their TV, something like this could happen to them as well. But I'm also wondering, how does this connect to other videos? Because as we know in TOE Making Friends, there is a section that's blocked out for governmental personnel viewing only. I don't know if that's also by these same people. We're being told in the boiled one that the Euphrata branch is the Euphrata branch a part of a bigger organization or group that is trying to handle these kinds of phenomena and these kinds of incidents. They do refer to Fen by the number 228, which means that there's maybe other phenomena that's happened. Maybe Thumper is another phenomena. It's almost like Dr. Nowhere could be creating his own universe that has several different incidents going on in it at the same time. Like I said, even earlier, it's giving me like SCP vibes, which is how there's different SCPs and how they work and whatnot. It seems like that's something similar that's going on in Dr. Nowhere's universe that he's creating here. I could be totally wrong. These could be just two separate series and two separate universes, TOE and the Boiled One phenomena. But please let me know what you guys think in the comments. I honestly think this is incredible so far. It feels like a breath of fresh air in the analog horror community. I love how much support Dr. Nowhere is getting so quickly. I'd like to contribute to that as well. So if you guys could please go check out Dr. Nowhere's channel, the link to it will be in the description down below. Please be sure to go and subscribe, go watch the videos for yourself. You might pick up something that I missed. Also be sure to go check out Dr. Nowhere's Instagram, which I'll also put a link in the description to as well. There's also a lot of cool posts that he posts on there as well. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to drop a like on this video to spread it out to more people. And don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to hit a million subscribers before the end of the year. And I do videos like this all the time. So if you like this one, you'll definitely be sure to like more that I upload. Also, we are sponsored by Gamersup. So if you want to go check it out, if you want to go get some energy in your system for while you're just chilling during your day or going to work, be sure to check the link in the description as well. Use code immortal at checkout for 20% off. One of my 
favorite flavors right now is the good flavor, which really just tastes like a really good cherry slushy. So I definitely highly recommend you go check them out. But all right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.